what's up guys welcome back to dragon ball z verse 2 so guys i am so excited we're about to hop into the hyperbolic time chamber with rhyme style for some one-on-one -on -one online training dude guys rhyme style and i have been wanting to do a video together for a really long time and i don't really do a lot of online matches but i've been wanting to improve so we're gonna be doing some training with rhyme style okay i just can't wait any longer let's do this Guys, it's finally happening. <laughs> it's finally happening. Okay, so are, are we are we actually doing the actual fight right now, or am I, are we just gonna jump in and just do little tricks? Like, well, how do you want to do this? Well, let's do a little talking before you demolish me, because, because you could probably do it in about five seconds. <laughs> um, so guys, so guys, in my previous videos, I said I was going to come to Rhyme Style. Okay, his power level is five hundred thirty thousand. <laughs> we don't have a chance. I was gonna come to Rhyme Style for some tips because I'm very bad at online. You know, I'm okay, I'm okay but I'm not great, I, and I'm gonna be I battling you guys. I would say you're bad because I we had a couple of warm up rounds, and you're pretty decent. You're pretty decent. Yes. You guys hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Rhyme Style said way. I'm decent. Put it this way: <laughs> I actually I held back, and then I had to actually play when we fought. So it's like I I see potential. I see potential. Okay, so it's like Beerus and Goku. He held back, <laughs> and like now that. he's like, okay, I'm gonna have to try a little bit. <laughs> I even got the Beerus pants on for that. Yes, but really right, quick before before we get into it, I just have to say, if there's anybody who doesn't know who Rhyme Style is, I'll throw his link in the description. Amazing, amazing content. Definitely check him out if you haven't already. Okay, what were you gonna say? Yeah. I was gonna say we should just uh, get in here and just fight. Okay. Get into, yeah, right into the action. Let's oh, fight. Okay. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> over here. Over here. Over okay. here again. Mm. And a stamina break. And one <laughs> you know, of these. You know, it's funny you do a stamina break because that was my first question. Stamina okay. management. Everyone talks to me about conserve conserve your stamina. You know. And I'm like, so, okay. I like to do that, but but what are some guidelines? Like people were telling me, don't snap vanish sometimes when you're in a combo yeah so a lot of times like for example uh when we fall you probably notice that this time so i just could stop it's my day like right now i'm not gonna stop finish. my okay, stamina's gonna just... come back yeah because i know you're not gonna do a lot of damage to me um when it's most dangerous and your stamina's low which i'll show you why in here in a second because what i can do is oh nice dodge see that's like a thank you conserve stamina too you just okay. gotta do lots of side steps ah See right there, you didn't snap finish. Normally, yeah. I, I would have assumed Mind you would. Mind games. Oh, again, see? <laughs> I'm catching up. Oh, right oh there, no! Right this there, you should have. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is when it's the most dangerous. Because when your stamina is broken, I'm going to pull off an ultimate. Right. For example. Yeah, I'm about to go all out. I'm, I'm going to probably kill you one combo here if I can pull it off. No, uh, please don't. Maybe? Possibly? Potentially? Please don't. Oh! oh. Yes, so here we go. That's my chance. Yeah, I tried to be cocky and go for the brutal <laughs> block, but I, I, that's one thing I could not master yet. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Yes, here, here we go. Your, your stamina is dangerously low. It is dangerously low. Oh, snap. I actually messed and up. And yours right is there. dangerously high. Yeah. Whoever has a stamina high is usually the one who ends up winning the fights just because they have a lot of room to do whatever they want. Pop. One of these. Ugh. So you got like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What do you got? Eight, nine bars of stamina? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven right there. We are playing Dude. without limitations. Oh, oh mess it up. We're Ooh. playing without limitations. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so right now, this is when I do this and finish it off. <gasps> no! Oh, 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 you moved yes! last second. Yes. Nice. Now, yes. what happened there, because your stamina wasn't completely drained when I broke it, it recovered a lot faster. When your okay. stamina breaks when you have one to two key bars, it actually um, ends up taking a lot longer to come back than when it is when oh, it's full. Okay. Yeah, like right now, if you broke my stamina, it would come back a lot faster. Oh! You did the, the pew pews. Uh. Then I landed. Stamina, like right now, like if I break your stamina right now, it's going to be broken for a long time. Like that! Uh, what? I, oh. What you, happened? You, I actually don't even know what happened there. Yeah, we got we got tossed into a because uh, we did two heavy hits at the same time, so we got tossed into a um, a uh, uh, a clash. Dear. And it's funny because remember you you undermined your abilities, but I I didn't hold back. I mean I held back kind of, but I didn't like all yeah. the way hold back. And I actually got down to my last bar there because I was trying to be you know fancy and stuff. But let's jump into okay. another one and just keep going at it. And this is overall how you just get stronger in the game. Right. Well, dude, that's how I look at it with anything. You want to get better. Yeah. You got to play. 
people who are better than you. So yeah, how do we do without limitations? Is that not an option? So uh, to turn off limitations, it's just when you create create the lobby, it'll say like use level, so you say no. Uh, uh, okay. So let's, let's try that's using, fine. Let's use let's use. Yeah. Now Oops. you know what I'm gonna use him because I feel like it's proper for for, for this kind of fight. Um, when you when you have limitations off, it's we're both level 50. We have the same stats, so it's like if I have a broken character, then uh, you know I can't abuse my super crazy power damage moves that I have. So yeah. that's, that's what that does. Um, but the disadvantage is you're not level you're not level 80 or 90, so it could hurt you depending on how your playstyle is. Yeah. Now what I want you to do, if possible, is not uh, not vanish at all when you when you can. Uh, or not, or oh. not vanish, the, the snap vanishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what do you call it? Jump vanishes when it doesn't use stamina? Uh, side vanishes. That's side right vanish? Here. Yeah. Okay. Now a lot of people complain about this and they say that this is cheap. No, this is part of the game. I mean, this, this part of the game. Watch Dragon Ball? Yeah. Have you guys watched Dragon Ball? This is <laughs> <laughs> this is what you see in the fights. It's not OP or anything. Like yeah. you can you can stop it. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> yeah. So your stamina is heavily broken, but look how fast it came back. That's because yeah. Of it. Yeah. So you um, said the higher your stamina is when it's broken, the faster it comes back? Yeah, so if I break it when you have one bar, two bar, it's going to be broken for enough time for me to pull up a disgusting attack, whereas... Yeah. Oh, see, I'm trying to predict your ability. See, the, the more unpredictable you are, the more dangerous you become as a player. The thing is about me is I'm not the best player. It's just that when I come across a lot of players, they, they just rely too much on snapping. And I used to be like that, too. Ah, see, right, right there. I'm expecting you to snap, and you don't do it. Right, However, I'm learning. I can be a predict. I was gonna say I can be a predict <laughs> too. <laughs> ah, there we go. Ooh. Uh oh, uh oh, there it is. Here we go. There it is. Oh, the pew pews, and they got yes. me too. Nice. That, the pew see, that, that was super clean, super clean. See, this okay. is another thing too. I don't like. I don't have any of my moves that I normally use as well, or my supers. I just have like the basics. I got like whatever I could afford. I got bending Kamehameha and that like key explosion. Uh-huh. Dude. Where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I gotta do okay. this. Change, be careful. So as as far as as far as like stamina management, I think I think I understand a little better. Yeah, what I had to do in this game, because like it was a bit different from Xenos 1, is this right here. The side vanishes. And to do that you just do you know you just tap L2 while you're moving. Yeah. And it's like a little quick sidestep that it doesn't take stamina and it allows you to move a lot freer. Oh, nice. It allows you to move a lot more freely. I and mean, that's like the best way to conserve stamina. But the yeah. other way is is, is is to make your opponent use up their stamina. Mind games, again, you know, the thing I taught you before you start recording is like, you know, a couple hits there. Like, punch, punch, back up. Right. Punch, punch, back up. Because normally, what you're not doing right now, uh, people will... <laughs> ah! Don't do that. <laughs> people will... <laughs> the second they start getting attacked, people will panic and press square, back out, and the ones that happen is... They have no stamina, and that's right. when you jump in and go for the kill. In fact, <laughs> next round, I'm gonna go all in. Uh oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna okay. go all in. Now here's the question: How badly do you want me to go in? Do you want me to go in with like hit or just? <sighs> Let Let's see. What are my okay. options? What are my options? Whatever you want. Okay. If go you want, I can go. I can go in all in with hit, or I can do. You know what? Let's do this actually. We'll, we'll save hit for the end. Okay. Beautiful. Let's do I'm him. Just, I'm gonna keep using my character. Okay. <laughs> I might switch it up, but the thing is, oh, Super Gogeta. Okay. <laughs> the yeah. thing is, I don't use a lot of these other characters. That's, is that something you'd recommend as well? Oh, definitely. You want to change that. Like when I started playing with random battles in Xenos One and Two, I learned how other players move, how other characters do anything, and that actually allowed me to uh, get a lot better with, it, with the characters in the game. Yeah. This is, look at this right here. Dude, uh. <laughs> my goal is to hit you once. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> this is not good. This is not good. <laughs> I'm just sitting there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, over here. Yes. Oh, you hit me. You got I it. hit you. <laughs> yes. Here we go. Why did I miss that? See, I wanna. Now, also, something a little bit more advanced are the guaranteed stamina breaks. And the reason why they call it guaranteed is because if you have no stamina, I can get you with the move without. Let's see. Please run away. Without um, you being able to escape. Boop. Oh, you survived that. What? Oh. I just got my stamina back right at the end. See, having a little stamina is 
good sometimes because they can come back that fast. Right. Just go and, for the fancy finish. And that's one of the reasons why I kind of like having lower stamina. Yeah, no, it definitely can be a, a blessing, but it could also be a curse. And the curse is like if you rely on it a lot, that's when it can like hurt you. Ah. Yeah. Let's see, I'm gonna go with how about we finish with this move? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that's a good finisher. <laughs> I turn into a rainbow. Yeah. Nah, but uh, basically, it's just most of this game, like I say, 75% of this game is just it's mind games. Yeah. It's mind games. It's getting your opponent to use up their stamina, and that's when you can just go in for the damage. Like that's why a lot of times, like I said, it's it's smart to just take the damage instead of snapping out. Cause like, if you snap out, and your stamina's low, the next thing that's gonna happen, I guarantee you, the next thing that's gonna happen is your stamina's gonna get broken. They're gonna do a combo and finish off an ultimate every yeah. time. So here's my question. Let's say your stamina is broken. What uh -huh. is the strategy? Just get on the ground and recover it as fast as possible? Uh, well, we mentioned it earlier is a side vanishing. What you want to do is if if they screw up and drop you out of the combo and you manage to get back on your feet, side vanish like your life depends on it because your <laughs> life is going to depend on it. And so, this is this is the part that people say sometimes it's cheap, but no, this is part of the game. This is the only right. defense you have. Yeah. So, but that's uh -huh. if they screw up. Usually, if someone gets your stamina low and they break your stamina, they, they're not going to mess up. They're going to, you know, do a crazy combo and finish you off with an ultimate. Not right. Hit is one of my best characters, just so you know. Okay, well, that's good to know. <laughs> Imperfect Cell is one of my best characters. He's actually he's actually really good, but hard to use, because he has these like weird attacks where he just kind of jumps around you, and it can confuse your opponent. Oh, nice, you just shot me back. Dude, that's pretty good. I want to I wanna absorb you. That's going <laughs> to be my only goal. No, ah! yes! No! Yes! You put your I weird you. sting thingy into my body. <laughs> <laughs> you lost just your got arm. Really weird. Yeah, they just got yeah, really weird. You also have that reach. Oh, there you go. Okay, See, go. that's the thing. That's the thing. I got the reach. Uh oh. What is happening? I don't know what this uh, is. I transformed. Well, I just uh -oh. I switched to my next phase. Now, normally, if you see someone transform, you want to hold triangle. Hold, hold triangle. triangle. Yeah, hold triangle and hit with a charge attack because that's gonna break the stamina. Okay. But if I, since I did it so close to you, you were actually unable to um, to uh, jump out of it because yeah. uh, you were like kind of locked onto me and doing attacks. So otherwise, though, I could be like, oh, yeah, I'll mess it up. I could be like, Arr! and if you would have done it right there, oh, you could have broken my stamina if you oh, held it and did it. Okay, that's good to know. Well, here's a quick question: How many? <laughs> I'm a keyblade based character. Like uh -huh. I usually make use like key ba key based characters. How many can you pull off before you're considered a spammer? <laughs> Cause like, see, I, I try not to spam it, but I'm like, well, how much can I use? So, is there like, I'm sure there's not like an exact rule, but is it like you don't want to do the same move over and over or like? I, so that's, see what people, what I just did to you right now is I did two, two backbreakers back to back. Some yeah. people consider that sp spamming. I, to me that my thing was more of a troll thing because I knew you were going to follow me. Yeah. And technically, it's 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 strategy because like, oh, you're about to come near me. Oh. Yeah. But it, I don't know. It's kind of weird. People have their own definition for spam. Like sometimes people say, oh, you just spam melee. It's like, yeah, it's a fighting game. Right. Uh, so I, I I don't know. I don't know how to answer. I think we should probably ask people in the comment section below for that yes, one. Yes. Yes. What do you guys think? How many how many key blast supers is too many? And, yeah. And how about like ultimates? Are you? only supposed to like save it for the end well most of the time you want to save them only for stamina breaks because like right now if you would have broke my stamina you would have pulled that attack off yeah bop that's game see like you, it, it, it just depends on how you fight yeah uh, everybody has their own definitions for how they do this what's spam what's cheating in my opinion if you do super kamehameha twice back to back which a lot of people like to do because it does a lot of damage it's, it's three key i think right. that's cheap However, it's my fault for getting my stamina broken. It's my fault for falling into the trap on allowing someone to do it. I would consider that cheat. If, you know, my good friend Danny, he hit me with Justice Combination twice yesterday. <laughs> now, the average player would probably throw in a controller because of that, because it is annoying. But right. the same time, again, I allowed my stamina to drop down. So it's like, the way I see it is, is if you allow yourself to get, you know, trapped and fall into certain attacks, it's fair game. Now, right. I will point out, that this game was pretty cheap uh, in the first couple months because there were attacks that were just busted. Like, God Destruction Anger from Beerus, for example, breaks your stamina. Right. There's nothing you, you can do about that. <laughs> right. You land that, their stamina is broken instantly. What, 
what people would do is, is they would shoot you once, and they will fire it again right before your stamina comes back, and it'll be like an endless loop. That's cheap. That's yeah. busted. Another one is Go Go Gum, where they would trap you with that uh, gooey stuff that uh, uh, Namekians use. I know it's oh. not it's not boo, it's Namekians, guys. It's uh, from Dragon Ball. It's called Go oh, okay. Merry Go Gum. Merry Go Gum is actually what it was called. Um, they would trap you in that move, get all close to you, and then they would attack you with uh, this attack called Flash Bullet, which would literally kill you. Again, cheap. But again, all that stuff has been like literally nerfed over the course of the last couple patches, so it's like. It's it's all fair game at this point. There's nothing yeah. in the game that I know that's broken. There's annoying stuff, but it's again, if you allow yourself to get uh, destroyed or allow your stamina to drop low, well then you kind of deserved it. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty good. Check right now, if I would have fired two Kamehamehas, I would have been an ass. Then it's like, <laughs> but of course I didn't have a key, so I'm not going. I wasn't going to do that. Oh snap. So but it's just it's all stamina management. Yeah. And so okay. You practice with a lot of different characters. Uh -huh. Do each of them have like stamina break combos that you kind of have to learn? Yes, uh, okay. a lot of them do. And what a stamina break combo consists of is like you, every hit you do staggers your opponent. So if I'm doing like attacks on you, like for example, like uh, like right now, yeah, you're not you're not snapping out. It's because you can't. Well, okay. you, you can snap out. You can snap. Everything can be escapable. But if you have no stamina, like there's certain attacks that that you can link together into stamina break, which allows you to basically you know. Break someone's stamina. Uh, yeah. Like right now, I can do. Ah, I messed it up. Uh, I could snap <laughs> behind you and done it. But like the point is, I'm trying to make is like. Ah. Ooh. Like right. Th Ooh, ah, that dude. was close. See, see, see how see how you're able to move? That's not yeah. a guaranteed stamina break. But there's oh, certain okay. moves I can do that will literally like trap you, which like let, let's me look into it. Yeah. Like right, like right there, you weren't able to really move. I, right. I almost did, but. And then uh -oh. I can do an ultimate. Like the best time to do an ultimate is when that happens. Yeah. And what a way to go out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean it's just it's just one of those things. Like I said, you just gotta move. You want to press guard or not guard, but uh, Z vanish as little as possible you know, or snap vanishing. Uh, rely on the sidestepping. Rely on the side vanishing. Play play your opponent into using all the stamina, and that's all really it comes down to. Yeah. Now here's a question. Mm -hmm. When do you block? <laughs> I actually and, never and everyone, block. Don't pay attention to that 8-win streak. Nobody, <laughs> don't don't look at that. We we played a couple matches before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I gave um, him a couple wins, you know. <laughs> uh, as so you don't really block, block much. I, I never block. And the reason why is because, honestly, again, I'm not the best player. There's still that. Uh, there's still a lot that I uh, have to learn myself. Like, I can't, I can't get perfect blocking right. I never personally block because I, uh, I... Honestly, I just don't see the opening for it, and I'm not confident in when to do it. Like, what most people do is, is they will just sit there and just take the hits. Like, for example, I'm, I'm, I'll start blocking. Yeah. And I can jump in and count like that. Now, the reason why I don't do it is because there's this move called Shockwave. Not okay. everybody uses Shockwave, and actually, I'll use it in the next round to show you what I'm talking about. Shockwave, when you're blocking, will, will stun you. <laughs> and then you can go really? into a combo. Yeah. So, that's why I never really block. I, I rely mostly on my, you know movement and getting you to use up all your stamina and then I you know I will do whatever I need to do to to kill you. Yeah. yeah. Oh just kidding. Oh. oh I missed again. Oh I didn't see you pulled off um that move. Ah. Uh oh. And I can go Oh nice! Yeah timing. I saw see? it coming. Now the problem is is you have no stamina so I can just you know get you back. Ooh. Oh you got lucky we got I into, still into have no stamina. So yeah. I gotta do well, your stamina's Ooh. back now, so you're fine. Yeah. Again, I broke your stamina when you had a full bar, so it came back a lot faster. Again, if you break mine now, it's gonna take me a good minute for it to come back. The thing is, it's like people always want to know, is like, like, this is the, one of the most common things I see. I hate doing ultimates because they never hit. That's because yeah. you want to do ultimates when you know your opponent has no stamina. Right. Ooh, nice. Um. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get your stamina low, and I'm gonna pull off my paralysis. Uh, oh, Ooh, nice. that's close. Yeah. Uh, oh, my tiny, my tiny green bean arms. <laughs> uh, here we go. Um, oh, I, I don't know why I picked Ghoul though. <laughs> I think, I think it was one of those situations where it's like, okay, what's the worst character I can pick to make well, it almost an even fight? <laughs> he's actually not that bad. You know how to use him? He actually could be quite the troublemaker. If I can pull it off, oh, so like right now I can't. Be oh, there it is. There we that go. Was a that was a guaranteed stamina break. Yes, you did it too. You did it too soon. 
not gonna do uh. this. So, you gotta know your moves too, I guess, because that one took yeah. a really long time to pull off. Yeah, well, what, the trick with that one actually is if you press square, it yeah. actually um, goes a lot faster. So, oh, it's okay. Of, yeah, a lot of moves have these, uh, these like Easter eggs that you might not know about. Oh god, you actually might beat me this time. Um, okay, here we go. That move, when you break someone's stamina and you go into Meteor Burst, you want to actually press square again and you can fire the attack immediately. Oh, okay. But, uh, but I'll also say is, is, is you don't want to get too happy with the with the finger because what will happen is... is uh, let's, try, let's just try it. We're going to go ahead and go for a desperation shot. Ah, so you broke my stamina. <laughs> and right now, if I fall on the ground, you can actually do uh, Meteor Burst fast. Ah, oh, too soon. Okay. And I can do this and break your stamp. Ah, uh -oh. this can get broken. That's close. Let's see if I can do this. Bro, ah, I, I couldn't do it. <laughs> I, I did a uh, time stop. Ah, I couldn't do it again. Uh, <laughs> I was trying to go, uh, break his stamina by doing time stop. Dude, this is tense. Can I break the streak? Uh, no! Oh, come on, me no! Thing. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that would be close. Know. This is very close. No! Right in the balls! <laughs> <laughs> right in the balls! Okay, this is actually fairly close. <laughs> yeah, this is close. <laughs> One thing I would say is stay away from- Oh! This is it, this is it, this is it, this is it. Yep, 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 yep. Oh! Not yet. Careful! Careful! Oh, yeah. Not good! I think I'll be able to get you- Oh, no! But I did what try happened? <laughs> My Dude, ultimate. that's it. Ah! I was gonna say is, is you you want to avoid using oh that's it that's it yeah it is there we go <laughs> you want to avoid <laughs> using your um your evasive so much because it takes three key bars right um is there me, ever I, a good time I to really use, it? use mine really um honestly it depends I will use it mostly if it's gonna get me out of an ultimate attack like if yeah. you're about to fire super kamehameha and my health is low I will use it otherwise. Yeah. It's like, you gotta think fast and figure out, well, do I wanna take the damage and save this? Because again, once your stamina is low and you can't snap vanish and they break your stamina, it's going to be basically game. Right. Let's do, uh, oh, how about this one? No, oh, no, not that one. Uh, do you wanna make this final match? Oh yeah, actually I was gonna use, yeah, final match. Uh, I'll, I will show you the, the shockwave stuff I was talking about. Oh, I'm gonna okay. play as my custom character. But yeah, again, most of this game is just mind games. Yeah. Get your, like, once you know how your opponent plays, it's so easy to control the match. It's so easy to control what they do, when they do it, and once they can't do anything else, that's when you strike in. Right. So dude, I want you to so, go all out. Okay, dude, no it's so appropriate. Here. It's so appropriate we're at the hyperbolic time chamber. Yeah. This is what I need. I need a year's worth of training in a day. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I need. Another one, another one I already, like I told you off camera, is the key blast cancel. If you want to utilize that as much as possible. Okay. It, it allows you to do a lot of actions a lot faster. So yeah, off camera, for those who weren't there, which is everybody, <laughs> he basically just said, you do, what do you do? Like two squares, then circle, just tap, tap yeah, it? Yeah, like I'll, I'll punch, punch a couple times, and normally I just want, a lot of people just, they don't like getting hit, so like right there, see I, I, I punched you twice and I was able to move. Right. A lot of times people, you know, they start getting attacked, it's, I'm not gonna let you do combo on me, it's like I wasn't planning on it. It's all mind games, like you know what, hit you twice, see like right there. Now you have no stamina and I can do this, I can do all of yeah. this. Yeah. And uh, this is not gonna hit because you're gonna roll out, but if I broke your stamina I could have got you with that. Right. Dude, why do, why do all the characters have sledgehammer? <laughs> it's actually a really powerful attack. Dude, I'm just gonna do it. I know I should I know I shouldn't. That's shockwave right there. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're, if, you're, if you're guarding and it's doing the shockwave, it stuns you for a second, which allows you to just jump in and do whatever you want. Oh, nice. I gotta finish you off the stamina break. I can't just, you know, see how we gonna do this. No, I'm coming back. I'm coming back. back. <laughs> Not even close. Uh, see, one thing I it's don't really have. One thing I don't have. Oh! Oh, here we nice. go. Nice. Yeah. Uh, let's do this one. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and there it is. Dude, that's a good finisher. Yeah. Honestly. Again, just get out there and play. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I seriously feel a lot better than... Dude, You. Sh I don't know if you saw. 
I did a world tournament match recently. Mm-hmm. It was not great. <laughs> it was not great. I feel a million times better. Yeah. No, I, I, like I said, it's just, it doesn't matter what moves you equip or what fight style you use. What's the most important is figuring out how your opponent plays. And when, once you figure that out, you can easily control the entire field. Yeah. Oh, man. I need more practice still. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, dude, thanks so much for uh, for the training. I appreciate it. It was fun. Yeah. And, guys, like I said, if you're not sub to Rhyme Style, I'm sure most people at least know who he is. If there's one or two people who don't know who he is, definitely <laughs> check him out. I'll put his link in the description. Um, yeah. And we're going to do another video on your channel. Oh, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna do the random fight where we just pick random characters oh and let boy. fate control who wins. Because a lot of times a- you, it, it could be uh, based on the point of which character is against which character. Like if yeah. I use hit, or if you use hit and I get Gula, for example, I'm not gonna win. There's just no way. Right. Uh, but then again, I know how hit players fight, so I could have that as an advantage, which again goes back to me knowing how other people play with other characters. But. It, it switches it up, and Reign of Ballas allows you to play as other characters and also like kind of get the feel of how others uh, fight. Right. Dude, I'm going to end up with a pool. <laughs> <laughs> that always happens to Danny. Always. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Well, dude, thanks again for, uh, for joining. And, guys, sure, thanks for watching. Fun. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Oh, man. Monster, dare you! Dude, this is sick. <laughs> he just transformed into a great ape. Oh my goodness! Oh! <laughs> What's happening? Are we fusing somehow? How did that happen? We just went Super Saiyan 5!